For the age actually specializes in um, applied artificial intelligence for computer vision, machine vision, um, and specifically actually 3D reconstruction. Um, so actually the first problem that the company is trying to solve is really revolving around 3D space, 3D space reconstruction, because how uh, there is a clear need out there for people to have um, to capture reality, in really in broad terms. But the problem that they have today, that they face today, is that the, the, the traditional method or equipment that is available out there is prohibitive, so really expensive, complicated to use. And so how do they deal with the issue today is that really either they're forced to use those equipments or uh, simply they, they do not have access to those solutions. How does the for the age uh, solve the, the issue today? So the company, uh, this is the first flagship product of the company. The company invented this new product called the 4D CanCan. -Can. So it's the world's first consumer grade 3D camera. Basically the, the general value proposition is that it's an only one camera, so everything is included in this one hardware product. And the idea is th three simple steps, right? Take a snap a few pictures, upload to the cloud, Everything is done autonomously, automatically, so no human intervention whatsoever. You get the generated, the, the 3D model, the, the dollhouse view, the floor plan also automatically. All the 3D measurements also are done auto autonomously. Then you upload to the cloud, and then on this platform you're able to edit whatever you want, so add any kind of multimedia file that you wish, and then share with anyone. So share on any kind of platform or embed also any kind of platform. So let me ask you something. Yes. You, you've created a new piece of hardware. Yeah. Um, when you look at something like you know, the new iPhone with its triple camera and some of the, you know, virtual reality things that it's able to do. Um, why do you need a new piece of hardware when it seems like everybody's carrying, you know, a pretty darn good camera in their hand? The main competitor is not normal, simple cameras. It's more how it, the, the issue has been dealt with today has been more with either depth cameras or most of all laser cameras, so LiDAR. Everything that is related to LiDAR, this is how typically the, the issue has been dealt. So these are lasers that cost thousands and thousands of dollars because the, the issue that they were trying to solve is uh, to attack either an extreme degree of quality or precision without necessarily thinking of how can we democratize really this technology to make it accessible to, to everyone.